What's up everybody, Cole Sands Fishing here. It is April 21st, 2022, and we're about to dive into this week's report. So this week's report is brought to you by Tumlin Homes and Land Team. If y'all are looking for a home or a piece of property in the in the Lake Chickamauga or Watts Bar area, anywhere in this, this kind of Southeast Tennessee area, get in contact with them. Look them up on Facebook, Tumlin Homes and Land Team. Great people to get your results. I'm super proud to, um, proud to be part of their team and, and be sponsored by them this year. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about it, man. You know, I've been gone fishing open tournaments these past couple weeks. Uh, didn't have quite the finish I was hoping for, but tomorrow I leave to go to the first central open at Ross Barnett. I'm ready to get that one kicked off. Uh, can't wait to get it started and uh, maybe get a little redemption on them. But uh, so this week, you know, I usually do these reports on Monday, but I'm about to leave to go out of town. So we're going to go ahead and dive into it now. I got to go out Tuesday, Wednesday, and today's Thursday. So I got to go out today. Fish Tuesday, I fished the upper end of the lake from Dayton to the Watts Bar Dam. Uh, Wednesday, I fished from Dayton to about Possum Creek. And then today, I fished from Harrison Bay to about the nuclear plant and all the way down to the South Dam. So I really got a good feel of what the lake was doing, what the fish were doing, and uh, had a good, you know, every day was pretty good. I, I had the first two days were a little bit slower, but still caught some quality fish. And it was, uh, you know, a, a lot of fun and, you know, my clients were able to learn a lot, kind of do a couple different techniques and uh, overall a pretty good week. But uh, one thing I want to tell you all about real quick before I, I get too far into this week's report is these sunglasses that uh, I've been wearing. These are Waterland sunglasses and uh, it's a new company I've, I've started uh, wearing the, this past couple of weeks and man, I have fallen in love with them. Uh, they were very crucial this week. We were catching a lot of fish off stumps. And a lot of these stumps you couldn't visually see unless you had a pair of these glasses on. Um, and uh, when, when you're choosing them, I like more of a green mirror lens uh, for, for sight fishing and for, for seeing in the water. Um, but if you're interested in a pair, use the code SANDS, S-A-N-D-S, all capital, at, uh, at checkout. You'll get, I think, 10 or 15% off. So um, it's a really good deal if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses. Like I said, um, I, I've been very impressed with them since I started wearing them. And I'm sure you will too. But uh, so Tuesday, I put in, we fished the upper end of Lake Chickamauga. It was, it was a pretty tough bite. You know, it was, it was pretty slow, but we had a really good bag of fish at the end of the day. We put in the water temp uh, upriver seemed to be about 56 to 60 degrees by the end of the day. It was a little bit colder than I thought it was going to be. And really just rotated a couple different baits. I took the guys out from Fishco, which is a, a new soft plastics company that... Um, that I'm, I'm proud to be representing this year. And uh, we, we got to go out and do some bait testing, which is always really fun. And um, first thing that morning, uh, one of the guys caught a really good large mouth, about a four and a half pounder on the four inch double deuce. That's got a really cool action to it. We were Nico rigging it, just putting a little um, a little hook right here in the middle. As you can tell, just a little like one aught hook. I uh, had a little nail weight in the end. And uh, he caught a really nice large mouth to start. Caught a few more on that that day. Um, as far as the setup goes, uh, I like a seven, two medium action rod, um, seven foot, seven, two, something like that. 10 pound Yozuri braid. I like the, the lighter braid cause you get a super long cast plus it's super sensitive. And then a 10 pound, uh, Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon leader. And man, I can't tell you enough good things about that fluorocarbon. I mean, we were getting the fish out of rock and, 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 you know, rusty bars tie offs and, and cables and all sorts of junk. And I mean, we, we were just getting them in the boat and uh, that's a good testament of good line. Um, but that day we caught a good one on that to start with, uh, threw their OG swimmer around a little bit, which is a 2.8 inch, just a small swim bait, throwing that on a quarter ounce head and the little current seams, caught a really good spot of bass, about a three and a half pound spot. Um, a couple other fish, a couple large mouth, a couple small mouth, throwing that thing around. Tennessee Shadow was the best color that day. Um, uh, another really good bait that day was the just their little finesse one. That's the four inch. That color right there is a killer. Um, that is the, uh, the, the the finesse worm in Texas red is the color. Uh, it's got a really good, you know, kind of a green pumpkin top with a red bottom. And red's always good pre-spawn and during the spawn. And then green pumpkin is just always a kind of a staple for us bass fishermen. But throwing that eighth ounce shake yet around, just throwing it around rock, um, a couple lay downs and stuff, and, and caught some good fish on it. Uh, besides that, we did catch a really, one of the guys in the boat, one of my clients caught a uh, really good fish, really good smallmouth on that 
that uh, the Little Deuce, and that color is Green Pumpkin uh, Purple Copper. That's been a really good color so far on the Tennessee River for largemouth and smallmouth. That Ned Rig is a killer this time of year. Uh, one thing I, I do like this time of year, I've been dipping the, the tail in a little bit of chartreuse, but same setup there, you know, about a seven foot. Uh, let's see what this one is. This is, this is a, yeah, this is a seven two, seven two medium, uh, Witch Doctor Tackle Shaman Series rod, um, super sensitive, lightweight rod. And uh, client caught a good one on it. And then really just kind of rotated between them three or four baits. At the end of the day, I did pick up a mag draft and caught one close to four pounds on, on that. Uh, I think that's albino. Uh, but overall, I mean, we only caught about a dozen fish, but, uh, you know, the size was really good. We had somewhere between 18 and 20 pounds. And, um, you know, it was, it was a good day to, to go out there and, and test a couple different lures out. Um, the next day I put in at Dayton. We fished between Dayton and about Possum Creek and uh, kind of fished everywhere in between. And what we noticed when we put in, the, the water temp was anywhere from about 57 to 62 by the, by the end of the day, maybe even 63. Um, the fish did not seem like they were moved up on bed. It seemed like a lot of the fish were still pulled out in that like three to 10 foot range. Now, with that being said, did catch a good one that day. We had a five and a half pounder that day on that old Texas red finesse worm on a shaky head. Um, a couple other good fish. And we were really just throwing that light shaky head around. Uh, that light shaky head in the Ned Rig is pretty much what we threw most of the day that day. Um, throwing it on shallow stumps and like three to five foot of water. That was, that was one key, but the most consistent bite was fishing more of the transition banks, like the last deep water in the creeks, uh, even some of the bluffier stuff in the creeks, just fishing that really light shaky head and that net rig, just fishing it super slow. And I lost a couple good ones. I wish we'd have landed, but, uh, that's definitely been key. You know, everybody thinks Lake Chickamauga, I need to go, um, you need, I, I need to go out. I need to throw these these crankbaits and these, you know, all these moving baits and I can get away with throwing a big, you know, like a half ounce flipping bait or a half ounce bait with a big worm on it or a brush hog. But a lot of times, man, when, when the fishing gets tough, like it does this time of year, a lot of times you got to go super finesse, you know, little four inch finesse worm, little, uh, little, uh, Ned rig style bait. Um, and that's just really usually my key to success this time of year is just going super finesse. Um, Throw a 10 pound Yozuri T7 floor card on all my stuff. Um, but that was kind of our day that day. You know, we had a decent day, probably had around 15 pounds uh, by the end of it. And uh, it definitely seemed like the transition banks kind of saved our day that day. And then today uh, I decided to go to Harrison Bay. I, I like the south end of the lake this time of year a lot. There's a couple little areas I like to fish that usually hold fish pretty good. And uh, the water was a little bit warmer. You know, we had a kind of a warmer night last night. It was anywhere from like 58 to 64. Um, probably could have seen some fish on bed today, but it was pretty cloudy. I, th I think today is probably when they really started to move up. I expect next week when I've gone out of town fishing my, my next open, I expect next week to be a really good uh, week for uh, sight fishing for y'all. So y'all be sure to get some glasses and, and get out there. But today was really good. Um, today we caught 30 somewhere between like 33. I know we caught at least 33, but we might've caught, you know, more like 35 or 36. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, caught some good small mouth today. I, I, we mixed in and uh, caught some nice large mouth and had a really fun day. Caught some spotted bass. We actually had the trifecta today, so it was really cool. But uh, the key today, well, as soon as I put in, we fished some shallow stuff, but I noticed on, on pan optics, the fish I was seeing were like three to 10 foot. They were, they were out a little bit. So we scooted out off a lot of the places that we normally fish. Fished some stump rows, caught some fish doing that. And it was really just, I mean, today was all about three, pretty much three or four baits. Did catch a couple on that that little four inch uh, Nico rig. Um, the Ned rig, that throwing that, that little deuce, the the two, that's the, um, I think that's a 2.8 inch. It's just pretty small. It might be three inches. Uh, throwing it around, throwing that little finesse worm, and then throwing the... Uh, throwing the tube a little bit too. Didn't catch a lot on this, but caught some good size on it. Um, but throwing mainly these two baits today. I mean, that was pretty much our staple. Um, shaky head, Ned rig, got out to three to 10 foot of water, drug it around stumps, drug it around pea gravel banks where, where they're staging going into spawn, uh, threw it around some rip wrap, kind of threw it a, a little bit of everywhere and, um, caught a lot of fish, uh, and the key was definitely getting out a little bit deeper. Now, at the end of the day, we did find some grass in about three to seven foot of water. 
And uh, we had a really good flurry at the end of the day. Um, end of the day was probably our best five was probably about 16 pounds. Didn't have any big ones, but we had a, a solid limit of fish. You know, we had a couple three and a half pounders. Uh, one was a big keeper smallmouth, which was, you know, a lot of fun. Man, it was a hard fighting fish. Um, caught, a, caught a couple three and a half pound largemouth and, you know, a couple threes and several, several two and a half pounders. Uh, which is a really fun fish and uh, overall pretty happy with the week. You know, I, I hear a lot of people right now crying the blues saying it's really tough. Best advice I can give y'all going out is just downsides and fish slow. I can't tell you how, how important it is to fish super slow. Um, get you those Ned rigs, those, those little finesse worms, put on light heads. That Ned rig are like a one tenth. Uh, and then on the shaky, like I said, like a one eighth or even a one sixteenth. If you have the patience to fish it, um, you'll catch fish on it. Uh, but that was this week's report. You know, um, I expect in the upcoming weeks, sight fishing is going to come become a huge deal. Uh, the water level is still about two foot down. So as that water starts to, to, to level out a little bit, I think, you know, there's going to be a huge wave of fish push up. I definitely, there's definitely been some fish already spawned, uh, but I, I think the biggest wave is still yet to spawn. Um, so I, I expect some really good fishing in the upcoming weeks. And, um, Good luck to y'all in the water. You know, y'all have any questions, be sure to just, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them. Uh, probably won't have a fishing report next week because I'll be out of town and, you know, won't have time to be on the water. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this week's report. Keep it simple. Go lightweight. Throw that swim bait around some too. Keep a glide bait and a, you know, a big swim bait honest. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, appreciate y'all watching, guys, and I'll catch y'all next time. See y'all.